started as a routine procedure has turned into a month-long hospitalization for a Clifton woman, but her family and the community have been stepping up to see that she's cared for. Her husband serves as an officer for the Clifton Police Department, and he has been spending every spare moment by his wife's side at Baylor Scott & White in Waco. News 10's Chris Cordova shows us what the community has done for his family while his wife battles pancreatitis. Yes, yeah, certainly it's been a long month. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Clifton Police Officer Trevlin Winder has been feeling, taking care of his wife for over a month at Baylor Scott & White Hospital. And it all started as a routine gallbladder surgery. The surgeon came in and told her she had two stones stuck in her bile duct. And he told us from that point that there was, a, there was a chance that she could get pancreatitis from the first procedure, which would be removing the two gallstones. Well, she did. And that began what would become a month-long hospitalization for his wife, Sydney Winder. She's always a happy person. She's not happy right now. Who has no idea when she'll be able to return to work as a 911 dispatcher. So when Trevelyn heard the Clifton Police Department was planning a benefit for his family, he says he wasn't surprised at all. You know you, you work in a tight-knit community, but when something like this happens and it actually backs you up, it just makes you feel good. I mean, it makes you love where you work and makes you want to just do better for the community after that because they're behind you helping you the whole way. Struggling between making it into work and being at his wife's side, the support from the community is making a huge difference in Trevelyn's world. Things just started getting rough. They stepped up and was there for us the whole time. It just, it means a lot. It really does. But now they see the light at the end of the tunnel. Sydney is going home. It was very comforting in knowing that she's coming home and that there's at least a path to the end. We're not there yet, but we're making our way there and that we can see it coming at least. In Clifton, Chris Cordova, KWTX News 10.